Hello, Orchid friends. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to revisit four of my yellow fragrant Phalaenopsis orchid. There are no IDs from Trader Joe's, but let me tell you about their stories. If this is your first time watching my video, my channel is all about orchids. From what orchids I have, how I grow them, my thoughts on certain orchid topics, to what orchids in my collection are blooming, etc. So if you want to follow along my orchid hobby adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification. It was never my plan to make this video with the footage and pictures that you're going to see in this video, but I rediscovered these materials while I was trying to find more older, some older footages on the other orchid. Um, but then I realized that these four orchids that I cherish dearly, they're all fragrant, yellow, and there are no IDs from Trader Joe's. And I've talked about them on in, in different videos, but I've never actually put them side by side. And they're purchased from different years. Um, the first two in the front that you see are from this year, and then the two in the back are reblooming um, for this year. But then I purchased them early last year in 2017, and they all come they're in a slightly different form if you look at the flowers i think these two that you're looking at from the year before uh from last year they're more polaric and then the two that i purchased this year the flower shape are more rounded but they both are super both kinds are super fragrant and they last for a long they lasted for a long time i think from the beginning of the bloom until the the you know the last flower dropped I think each one of them at least were in bloom, was in bloom for at least three months. So I think this is quite amazing. But the story behind the two that I purchased this year, I think I, I, I might have talked about it in, in their feature video. I just went to Trader Joe's for some groceries, but then I discovered that these two, they, they were the only two fragrant orchid left i don't know how many they had but when i went there on i believe a monday after my gym session i saw these two and then i quickly put them in my basket before i even examined them and then once they were in my basket i felt better so i started to examine their roots and their leaves and i realized that they are they were in pretty good shape i suspected that people didn't buy them because they were looking for other orchids with bigger blooms or more bloom counts and then these two just kind of got left alone but people didn't realize that they were fragrant i mean for for me paying for the same price and and to to have a a fragrant orchid is a huge bonus as you know many grocery store phalaenopsis orchids are not fragrant so the fact that you can pay the same price less than ten dollars per orchid and and half in fragrant orchid i think that's a great find and then the other two orchid from last year, it was kind of similar story. I, I, I just you know got two. And if you ever come across any good orchids, and 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 the price is something you can afford, always get two, just in case. Currently, they're all p planted in the original bark media that they came with. And the reason I did not repot the two that I purchased from 2017 was because they were still in bloom. And and based on my observation of the bark, I think it would easily um, it could easily go for another year without having to without me having to repot them. So my advice, I mean my personal opinion is that whenever possible you want to um, not disturb your orchid. And so you only repot them when the season is right, unless it's emergency repot. For example, if the roots are completely rotting, then you want to do an emergency repot. Otherwise, always wait until they're out of bloom, out of spike, and in the right season. And when it's the right season to do the repotting. Otherwise, you could seriously set back your orchids. And so for the next segment of the video, is basically a comparison because here this is the last bloom of the one of the two orchids i bought this year and this is the older bloom of the same orchid and you see the the difference between the two this is the last bloom and the spots are quite obvious throughout the entire pe petals and sepals but 
if you look at the older blooms, the spots are not as visible. So further down this video clip, you will see um, the difference, the contrast. And I don't know if this is a good example of their genes not being stable, genetically not stable, so that the flowers pattern would change um, slightly. But here, to me, this is very obvious. It's not even a slight change. So I wonder if you have any experience with your orchids pattern being different um, on the same orchid. I suspect that it has to do with nutrients, maybe light, um, that, that, that will cause the, the flower to turn out differently. But overall though, I still love these orchids dearly because they were cheap and they're fragrant and they their blooms last, lasted for a long time, three months. So you can't beat that. Also, even though there are no ID Phalaenopsis orchids, I suspect that they all have very similar parentage because they're all yellow, their leaves are all exhibiting the same type of shape and the flowers fragrance are very very similar almost identical so I just suspect that one the two from last year are it, it are more pleuric and this year is more of the regular um, flower shape for the next segment is a um, footage and photo combination of the two orchids from last year so they rebloomed this year and because they all developed their their buds and and spikes and buds at, at different different time not at the same time so i was lucky enough to observe the the fading of the flower in in in, in almost like a phase stages so you would see some really light yellow when they when you put them together you see very light yellow medium yellow and dark yellow all at the same time side by side so I thought that was quite cool uh, these two are from last year like I said and the care that I have provided to all four orchid is wa um, watering with uh, I will fertilize them with quarter strength fertilizer every other watering and then every time I give them water I always soak them um, up on, the water level is up until about 80% of the inner cup, which is the, the, the container that they're in. But then the outer cup is a 16 ounce plastic cup. And I kind of use that as the saucer for, for me to soak, uh, soak these orchids in solution or in fertilizer in water. But once I drain this or drain these orchids completely, I put them back into this 16 ounce cup. And I noticed that the orchids really like it. I think it's because that way um, the water evaporation can only go up. And so some of the area roots at the, bo at the bottom of the, the, the plant or at the base of the plant above the media can benefit from the moisture. So that has worked really well. But I think next spring will definitely be a good time to repot these two orchids because some of the roots are actually just outgrowing the pot the pot and I think that um, the bark you know in, in a year I think it will be the time it would be a good time to replace the bark overall I'm really happy with these these orchids I hope that you would have a chance to get these orchids at your local Trader Joe's um, because they're great finds, very inexpensive and rewarding plants, especially with their fragrance. And if they rebloom for you, you know, that means you have done something right. And look at these roots. It's just awesome root porn for, for me to enjoy every single day when I look at them. And here we have an interesting question. Are there any fragrant mini fowls? Well, I think there are a couple types that are fragrant and are mini, but I think it's rare. For example, I have mini marks. I have five of them, and these are miniature orchid, and they're fragrant, but it really depends on how you take care of them and whether they get enough sunlight and also enough ventilation. Because when, um, when I have enough airflow, especially in the morning, my fragrant fowls are typically more fragrant. And then it, the, the, the fragrance gradually decreases as, you know, as the day goes on. And then pretty much in the evening when I take a sniff at them, I usually cannot really smell anything. Um, but also there aren't that many fragrant mini fowls because I believe to some degrees 
um, the hybridization, if they're not originally mini by nature and then they were made to be small, maybe during the way, along the process, they lose the fragrance. And here we have a comment from NYC Orchid Queen. Um, I can't believe that they are fragrant. I never find fragrant orchids. Well, it was a surprise to me as well. And it's true that Trader Joe's typically do not carry fragrant Phalaenopsis. But both times that I got two plants at Trader Joe's were in spring. So maybe that's when you, you guys will want to check it out if you have Trader Joe's in your areas. And here we have a comment from Sherry Walker. She says, I always get two of each orchid I love. And I agree, this is my approach too, because that way I have a backup. And if, especially if I'm ordering online and their shipping um, cost is a fixed cost, then that way, you know, it's better for me to order two or more versus getting one at a time and having to pay shipping for the second time. Anyway, this is all I have for you today. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao.